Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear sister. So you've been experiencing a difficult time right now, having married a um, another much younger Muslim. Um, and even though you married and things seemed to be going fine, you'd agreed that um, you did not want children together. But unfortunately, it seems that he has gone ahead and married somebody else um, but has now come back to you and said that um, actually it was just a contract and he couldn't continue with it. But now you feel betrayed because he said he'd not married anyone else, but now he's come back to you and said that he has. And you have sought a divorce at this point, but it seems that he does not want to agree to this. But he seems to be blaming everything on his mother, that it's all his mum's idea. And this is making you feel even more hurt. So first of all, just to go um, back to when he married somebody else, um, he's not actually from an Islamic perspective obliged to tell you that he has married again. But many would say that anyway, out of respect to you and to your marriage, that he should have told you anyway. But he, Islamically, he didn't have, he wasn't obliged to. Um, but many would agree that he should have told you. And it's very much more respectful to you and to your marriage if he had told you. But the problem here is more not about him necessarily marrying someone else, but the fact that he was deceptive about it. He lied about it. And when asked about it, he said he hadn't and then changed his mind and then eventually told you that he had. And this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable from an Islamic perspective as well, because he's been lying to you, especially because he kept it from you for so long. But at the same time, we know that in Islam, mar marriage is very much protected. As um, in the Quran, spouses are described as garments for one another. And we know there are many benefits and protections from marriage. So definitely um, we are to do all that we can to save our marriages um, if they fall into difficulties. But unfortunately, you haven't experienced any of the benefits of this, um, certainly with his latest behavior. But at this point, it probably would be best to try and do all that you can to rectify things and to overcome any difficulties um, before going straight in for the divorce. Certainly, it won't always work out. Marriages will end in divorce, um, but definitely we should do our best to make sure um, that this doesn't happen. And we have to try everything before giving up and um, going for the divorce. So there are a number of different steps you can take. So first of all, just simply trying to talk to him about it. Let him know how much it hurt you, how much it affected you. And if the fact that he doesn't actually want to divorce you tells me that he obviously still has some kind of feelings for you. Otherwise, he would be... Um, prepared to go ahead with the divorce and if he wanted to marry someone else then go ahead and do that so there are obviously some kind of feelings there to some extent so in this um, discussion you need to be open and honest about it you have nothing left to lose because if it is that you're seeking divorce anyway then you have nothing to lose by being completely honest about how you uh, and open about how you're feeling about the situation and give him the chance to apologize it might be you know that he's just feeling embarrassed by it all and he's not uh, he's a bit worried or scared or fearful to apologize about it yet. So just give him the chance to apologize as well. Maybe when he reflects on how it's been for you and how it feels to be in your situation, then he might feel some remorse. Um, so it might be that you need to give him a, a bit of time to reflect on this. Um, maybe a few weeks to just really truly reflect on how it's impacted you. But do give him the space and the time to even apologize, even if you don't, even if you go ahead with a divorce or or not just give him that chance to apologize and that will give you um maybe a f some kind of feeling of satisfaction inside that he has at least come forward to apologize whether you move forward with the marriage or whether you go forward with the divorce and then in addition to this or if this fails altogether talking to him then try counseling together even if it's this just that you go to your local imam together and just dis discuss things with an impartial person like the imam He'll be able to also advise you not only on your marriage and how you might move forward with it and both of your roles in this. Uh, he might also be able to advise your husband on the wrongdoing of the lies that he told as well. And then if all these avenues fail, depending on the type of marriage that you have, whether it's a civil marriage or whether it's an Islamic marriage, will depend on then how you go about moving forward with the divorce. Um, so you'll need to find out the practicalities of that. Um, if it's an Islamic marriage, you'll need to discuss that with the imam for example but at least if you've tried overcoming the differences if you've spoken about it together if you've had counseling together if you've discussed it with an impartial um, party like the imam 
then and you still fail to overcome these difficulties, then not only do you have the evidence to support getting a divorce that you weren't able to overcome your difficulties, but you yourself can also be confident that you did the right thing because you did try to make it work. You did all you can to overcome the difficulties and to try and make it work. So at least if, if it is that you do go ahead with a divorce, then you can feel confident that you're doing the right thing if you've tried to do all you can to make the marriage work and not just jumped into um, a divorce. But ultimately, if you do go ahead with a divorce, if it doesn't work, if these um, having counselling and talking about it doesn't work, and you are able to proceed with a divorce, then make sure that you do have plenty of support from friends and families, as it can be a very difficult time and a very enduring process that can often come with both emotional and psychological challenges, as well as the practical ones as well. So do be sure to have the support of your loved ones as well during this time. So may Allah make it easy for you during these difficult times and may he grant you happiness in this life and the next.